everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. This is an empties video. Um, it's products I've used up. I'm also including a bunch of things that I'm finally tossing. It's a lot of older skincare um, makeup stuff that I was holding on to either for sentimental reasons or just because I thought I was like, maybe someday I'll use this. And then I was never, I just never touched it. And where I'm moving in a couple of weeks, it's getting to be that time where I have to go through that kind of stuff because I really don't want to take stuff with me that's just going to sit there for another couple of years. So anyway, I'm going to try and give a little bit of order to this, but you never know. It could be a little bit all over the place. Okay, let's dive in here so that this isn't a super long video like my last one. So the first thing I have here is just a nail polish remover. This is the Compliments Nail Polish Remover, lightly scented with conditioners. This is fine, like, nail polish remover is nail polish remover. I've never used one that's been super crazy amazing, I just have to keep repurchasing it. I just usually buy whatever's on sale. Um, but I've been painting my nails a lot lately, so I've been going through a lot more nail polish remover than I normally would. If anybody has any recommendations for a nail polish remover that they like, please leave them in the comments down below. Next I have the Not Your Mother's Shampoo. This is the way to grow long and strong. Um, I really, really love this stuff. It felt really good in my hair. It smelt really, really, really nice. Uh, I'm really sad that they don't sell this, this stuff in Canada because I would so, so be repurchasing this stuff. It is so good. Next I have a root lifter from Redken. This is the Rootful 06 root lifting spray. I've shown this before. I tend to ask for this at Christmas time because it's like $40 a bottle or something. I mean I could buy it for myself, but it's just become a thing that my mother usually gets me for Christmas. Um, it usually lasts me about four to five months. However, because I've been styling my hair differently, using different products, um, and really just not washing my hair as often, it has lasted me this long which is super impressive for this little bottle and totally makes it worth and totally makes it worth the money. So I really really love this stuff and I would definitely be I will definitely be getting this in one way or another. Next I have um, a couple little minis here. Um, I have the living proof um, anti frizz conditioner and shampoo. Um, this my sister gave this to me when, with just a little bit left in it so I could try it and it was really really great. Um, I really love trying new shampoos and stuff. I really really love this. I love the way it made my hair look. Even like second day hair, my hair looked really really nice using this stuff. So I am seriously considering buying the full size. Um, if not of the shampoo, of definitely of the conditioner, but I think I might buy both. I've been thinking that because I've been washing my hair less frequently um, that I might splurge a little bit on buying nicer shampoos and conditioners because they will last longer so instead of having you know 10 a rotation of 10 different shampoos and conditioners from the drugstore maybe I'll just have two higher end stuff I mean really it's gonna be the same price and just it's gonna last me a while I don't know it's what I'm thinking because I'm trying to take better care of my hair so these the living proof the anti frizz shampoo and conditioner I think it's called anti frizz I'm not sure it just has frizz with a line through it so that's what I'm assuming is what it's called but anyway it's really good um, next I have the a little travel size of the L'Oreal triple resist reinforcing shampoo this is supposed to um, reinforced strands for fragile breaking falling hair. I thought it'd be good for my hair. However, I really noticed a lot more fallout with using this. Like even when I was just putting it in my hair, like I was noticing just lots of strands coming out and I was like, that is not good. I don't like that. I mean, I never, I can't say if it was because that's how it's supposed to work. Like you get a couple of strands come out when you wash and then it's supposed to last more through the day. I don't know, um, but I was really uncomfortable by that losing hair like right after putting it in my hair so I will definitely not be purchasing this. I guess I'll just keep going on here with the empties and then show you the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Um, so for skincare I finished off my little travel size of MAC Cleanse Off Oil and Tranquil. Uh, this was okay. I usually I used it for um, taking off my eye makeup a lot because it was really really effective and really gentle so I liked that. 
I wasn't super crazy about it though. I mean, I've used cleanse oil, cleansing oils and stuff that have been performed a lot better than this one, so I won't be repurchasing. And next I have a body wash, shower gels, yay. Of course I've used a bunch since my last one. This is the um, Good brand, fairly new. Um, this is the Paranormal Activity. I love artificial pear scents. Um, people who know me in real life will know that I freak out about artificial pear scents. I don't know what it is because I really, really hate pears. I can't eat them, they're gross. Um, but the art smell of artificial pear is just the best smelling thing ever. I just... It's just got that, like, sharpness to it. It's a sweet tanginess that I really don't feel is reflected in actual pears, but they seem to really emphasize in artificial pear scents. So I really, really love this. This is something that I would potentially repurchase. I mean, I wasn't super crazy about the formula, but I love the scent so, so much that I possibly would. Possibly. It's a maybe. Next, I have another shower gel. This is was my last rose jam from Lush. Um, last year I posted a video dedicated solely to rose jam. It was one of my like first videos that I posted which was really crappy webcam quality um, because I was just so 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 crazy that they made this into a shower gel and I was so obsessed with it. Um, they are bringing it back. They have brought back rose jam to the stores. Um, I commented on my local Lush, Lush's um, Facebook page asking them when it was going to come back and they actually responded back to me when it came in saying it's here and so I went and I picked up two bottles this size this is the biggest size the 500 milliliters they're like $30 each do not care really do not care I love this scent so much that I'd probably pay anything for it which is really really sad but it's the perfect rose scent because it's not overly floral and, and, and sickening it is a very sweet tangy scent which I really like the kind of tang. It's got lemon and it's got vanilla in it so it tones it down a little bit more than just a regular like old lady rose perfume. Um, so I don't know how much, many more I'm gonna buy that I buy. Last year I bought two 500s, one 250 and one of the whatever the small, 100 mil I think is the smallest one. I bought that and that lasted me until just now. Um, so I'm probably gonna buy another big 500 milliliter ones tied and true because they don't expire like for very long like this one was made on September 25th and it was best used by November 25th of this year so I was pretty impressed with that and same with the ones that I bought they last forever so I really am crazy about this uh, the last shower gel I have here is from philosophy this is the love sweet love one um, I mentioned this in a haul back in June, I think. I picked this up because I also have the perfume that matches, um, and I really, really love the scent. It's a very sweet, girly grapefruit scent. That is my, like, perfect spring-summer scent. I think I've really found my, like, go-to perfumes now, and I'm really, really happy about that. Um, so I'm not going to purchase this right now, just because it is a very, very spring-summer scent, but definitely when I'm craving spring, and probably around, like, you know, March time, April, it really doesn't, we don't really, really don't get a spring where I am. It goes from winter to winter to summer to winter. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, so when I'm cra craving that kind of lightness again, I think I'll run out and purchase this. They're like $20, but again, I don't care because I love the scent and I love the formula and the, it's just, it's great. I'm a shower gel junkie. Uh, so now I'll show you some of the things that I went through one of my drawers and was like, I just got to get rid of this stuff because some of it I've had for years, some of it is long expired, some of it is just, it's just not worth keeping. So I have two body butters here from the body shop. Um, I have the Satsuma body butter and um, Cranberry Joy, which is like super old. And a friend of mine gave it to me as a Christmas gift like a few years ago, which is why I didn't want to throw it out because I was like, eh, it's so sweet. She knows I like cranberry stuff and she got me this but I don't like body butters I do not like body moisturizers I don't like body lotions I don't like feeling greasy I just don't and so this one I've had for like four years I think something like that three maybe three years I don't know I'm just getting rid of it there's quite a bit in here still because I really didn't use it that much um, but I'm not going to, to hang on to that and the Satsuma one I bought the big tub I don't know why because I'm dumb 
I really didn't use much of this at all. Um, I love the smell though. Oh, it still smells so good. Um, I've used the shower gel before. Those have been in my empties. Um, I'd probably repurchase the shower gel because I love, love, love this scent. Just, I'm not crazy on Buddy Butters and just where this is old, like, I think when, if you peel back the back of it, it tells you the date, you know, like the copyright for the body shop and like this is copyright 2010. So, uh, no, time to get rid of that. Then I have a couple of skin carry things. I just have this little tub of the vitamin E moisture cream from the body shop. This is really, really old. There's not a lot left in here. Like I've, I've used a lot of this. I actually have the, the mask like this that I'll use every now and then. But th where this is so old, I just don't want a chance using it anymore. I don't know when they, these things expire. This also says 2010. I probably got it at the same time as I got the other body lotion. So I'm just getting rid of that. Same thing goes with this Born Lippy uh, Pink Guava Lip Balm from the Body Shop. This is a copyright thing of 2008, so I'm just going to say goodbye to this. Um, I used to use Body Shop lip stuff, everything, for a very, very long time. But then, um, I don't know, I just kind of stopped going there. Next, I have um, this Philosophy Help Me. Uh, retinol treatment. I use this a lot and I mean a lot. You can see there's not a lot left in here anyway um, but I used this um, a couple of weeks ago and it gave me a really really bad dry skin reaction. Like I used it um, just kind of on just like certain areas of my face you know avoiding the under eye just kind of using it everywhere else and it made this area I like under my nose and around my mouth so so dry and flaky and irritated and it was just it was the only thing I had used differently um, the night before this was the only thing so I've decided to get rid of this um, I got this in a set um, that was fairly expensive it came with the hope in a jar moisturizer and the purity made simple cleanser it was very expensive this on its own is like seventy dollars or something like that it's crazy but i'm not keeping this because of the reaction it gave to my skin it didn't give me this reaction before so i just think that maybe it's old and just needs to go next i have a really old lip gloss from the uh bath and body works like i mean super old like look at how old this is this is crazy old. It's one of those like old containers. It's barely used. It was a raspberry plum lip balm. I used it a few times, but it's too old. It kind of smells gross. I don't know why I was keeping it. Uh, so that's going bye bye. Um, I have an eyeshadow here that I got on eBay. So I don't know what the brand is. Uh, a few years ago, I got into this phase of buying cosmetics on eBay just to try out some different stuff. Um, you never really know what you're getting, especially when you like when you buy I mean, anything on there. So this is a duo black and white eyeshadow. Um, I used it when I had it, but I stopped using it once I started buying other better things. So this is just probably about like four or five years old. So that's going. I also have this eyeshadow from Clinique. This is very, very old. Very old. I don't even want to guess how old this is. Probably, it's, at, it's probably like eight years old. I don't know, something crazy like this because a friend of mine gave this to me in high school. Uh, so this is prob was probably I think this was given to me in like 2006 ish and yeah it's very pretty it's called frosted blossom I hit pan on it it's a very very pretty pink color I'm not even gonna touch the swatch though because this is super old um, I think I kept it just because my friend gave it to me and it was kind of like oh it's makeup from high school but I, I just don't I don't need to keep it I need to learn to let things go um, I have another eyeshadow little palette from LA colors this is one of the things I got when I was first trying to get in there oh it's called Marilyn it's the Marilyn palette cute this is nothing like Marilyn at least if they were trying to be like Marilyn Monroe it's just super um, colorful and sparkly and glittery and I use this for a little bit but it's old now and I just I don't need super cheap glittery eyeshadow so this is probably like four years old now so 
it's just gotta go. Next I have two other eyeshadows I found and I had been looking for them actually and then by the time I found them I was like, um, I think I've had these for like three years, three and a half years, something like that. They are two Annabelle um, eyeshadows. This one I broke, lost the top off, like the cover of, of it so it doesn't say anything anymore. And then this is a gold eyeshadow and I'm pretty sure that um, I use the gold a, a lot, but obviously I didn't hit pan on it. Um, they're very, very pretty. Animal is a Canadian brand. Uh, I really, really loved using these eyeshadows together. Um, and then I lost them, and then I found them again, and then I was like, when I was using other more expensive eyeshadows, I just kind of tossed them aside, and eventually they just didn't get used. And just where they're old, um, I just think that I'm going to save them by. And let's see, what else do I have here? I have four of these Hydra liquid LA Splash cosmetic liquid shadowy things. These are very strange. Um, I picked them up on sale clearance at a drugstore, used them like once or twice, and then was like, what is this? Um, it was a very, very bad product, but I don't like throwing things out, so I just kind of held on to it for way too long. Bye. Um, I have five uh, rip-off MAC lipsticks. Um, they were bought on eBay. They are like total rip-offs. They are just, I'm not even going to put these on my lips. I used them a few, a few times and then I started looking up um, like stories behind these fake MAC lipsticks and no, no. So I got five of these on eBay and they are going bye-bye. Um, I have a concealer here. I have no idea what brand this is. It's just a black tube. Um, this is a concealer I used to bring with me in my clutch when I used to go to bars and stuff when I was in university. Um, it's just old. Um, like, you know, six years old. So I found that in there and that's going bye-bye. I have a lipstick I held on to and I have no idea why. This is... What brand is this? I know it's one of the drugstore brands. I have no idea. I have no idea what brand this is. I don't know if anybody recognizes this lipstick. Um, I want to say it's probably something like... Oh, it's Revlon. It says very faintly in there that it's Revlon. This is a Revlon lipstick. It was in the color Amuse. Um, this is really old. So I can't even remember when the last time I really bought a Revlon lipstick. So this is really, really old. Probably high school. Um, I don't know why I still have it. I think I like the color. I don't know. Way too old to be keep hanging on to that. Um, oh, and at the end I found this under the pile of the stuff that I was just tossing. It's two things that I finished. This is the Strybectin AR Advanced Retinol Eye Treatment. This was a sample that I got in a set last year. I finished this up. Um, it was nice. But I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't really, I don't know. If it wasn't super effective, then there's other things for me to try. And the last thing is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume. I've been raving about this everywhere to everyone. I'm buying this with the Beauty Insider sale at Sephora. It's the first thing on my list. This is going to be mine because this Nirvana Black perfume is amazing. So anyway, that is all I have to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything you'd like for me to talk to about further, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, if there's any videos that you would like to see from me, please also let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.